Hey, folks, welcome to Weekend Technical Analysis Update by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This Weekend Technical Analysis video is for Monday, May 21st through Friday, May 25th, 2012, and is sponsored by Realtick. All right, guys, let's get right into the mix. This is a daily chart of the SPY, which mirrors the S&P 500. And again, as you can clearly see, the market has been in a steep sell-off ever since our master cycle pivot top. Where was our master cycle pivot top? Right here. And again, we knew this was a rounded top, as you see, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that would give way to sharp selling. And you see the sharp sell, the bear flag right here, classic in spirit of bear flag, and the recent collapse over the last two weeks, which has shaved about 10% off the markets at this point. In addition, you can clearly see the head and shoulders pattern, which dictated the target on this market. And we teach our members how to find targets on these head and shoulders patterns. How do you know where it's going? I will explain it here shortly, but obviously I will never give you the keys without being a member of the research center at in the money style stocks.com or the intraday stock chat but again look at the beauty of that head and shoulders pattern here's your shoulder here's your head there's your shoulder you connect your neckline right here which gives you the breakdown point which was right here the breakdown occurs and look at that as it drops we essentially have achieved our target on the head and shoulders pattern and again the beauty of it is you can see the pivot areas of support coming in you have this support level then just below it by about a dollar dollar fifty on the SPY you have the 200 so it also makes sense that the target would be generally in this vicinity so again our projections are as follows with the head and shoulders playing out to target you have limited downside downside could be as low as the 200 but see how close it is already basically you have another 100 point down day on the spiders or i shouldn't say on the spiders on the dow jones industrial average you basically achieve your 200 moving average but that's your max downside here and ultimately my projections are showing a bounce as early as monday to tuesday in the market this week and again the bounce will not be a long-lived bounce it'll be somewhat of around one week or so bounce in the markets which is going to be a shallow bounce which means upside probably i mean we've dropped basically in the last two weeks from 141 and a half on the spy down to 129 and a half on the spy so you're talking about a 12 point drop on the spy the bounce should be in the range of a 0.382 retrace maybe a, a 50 percent retrace so you're talking about a four to six point bounce max and most likely in the range of a four-point bounce. So right around that 0 0.382 retrace Fibonacci level. And that'll take us back to this area right here. At that point, the markets will get hairy again, and you'll see sharp selling come in. All right, so again, this is what we're seeing. This is what the proprietary secrets of us here, of the elite here at InTheMoneyStocks.com are coming up with. And this is how we have continued to make money in the markets. Last week... While a majority of retail investors, amateur traders, even institutions like J.P. Morgan were losing a lot of money, members in the money stocks using the secret proprietary methodology continued to make money. What were some of the plays that we made money on? SDS being one of them. That's a short ETF where you go long SDS to be short the S&P 500. Of course, we made money on that one as you can clearly see the market having collapsed. I moved out of that position on Friday for a profit. In addition, another gain came out on Friday, GG. We had a master level right here to go long. Kramer was bearish. He said these things are going lower. I ended up buying my members bought inside the research center, inside the intraday stock chat, and look at the bounce. We already hit our first target on Friday. Other plays out there that we made money on during the week, there were plenty of them. I don't care if the market's going up or down. All I do is I look at the charts using our secret proprietary methodology. I come across and I find plays that work. I will be putting more plays out there from members as early as Sunday night into Monday and throughout the week so we can make even more money. I am neither a bull nor a bear. I just read the charts. The charts tell me. The charts, essentially, I liken them to a text in a foreign language. You can learn to read it. You just have to learn that foreign language. Once you learn to read it, you will make money the rest of your life. It's the best payoff in the world.
All right, let's go back to the SPY here. Let's take a look at the intraday, which again is like this is like the intraday chart showing day by day. And you could just see again going back to last Monday, we gapped down sideways action. You essentially had every day this week selling. Why? Because continued worries out of Europe. I mean, that's the majority of it, folks. Greece is a mess. There's talk about them leaving the euro. You know, you have Spain, just an absolute debacle there. That one might eventually have to leave it down the road as well. Again, these are all worries. And the reason why you knew it was mostly Europe causing the selling last week was because late in the day, the selling would get heavy. All right, see how late in the day here on Monday, the sh sharp down move, Tuesday, the sharp down move, Wednesday, the sharp, Thursday, and Friday. Because no one wanted to hold into the U.S. markets close and then be locked in until the European markets open the next day or overnight. All right, and that's what really that's why you saw early day bounces is because the next morning we'd wake up and okay, there's no debacle. It's not like you know some major bad news came out. I mean, yeah, it's bad, but it's not like we had a breaking news story from Greece that they're leaving the euro. Nothing like that came out. So you'd get early morning buying or a little gap ups throughout the day, and that's when the market would be neutral to higher. Uh, as you can see, a couple days last week, it would rally in the morning. And then by the afternoon, people said, all right, but you know what? I made a little money during the day. I'm not holding overnight again. And they sell, and the market goes back to the lows of the day. Basically, every day we close at the lows of the day or close to the lows of the day because, again, no one wants to hold overnight. So the question is, the G8 summit meeting was this weekend. Are we going to get any announcements out of that? We did hear from the G8 that they do not want Greece to leave the euro. So they're going to do whatever it takes. And it looks like a more moderate point of view is being taken now in Europe in terms of allowing some stimulus to be in there as long as debts are being cut in, in terms of deficits. So, I mean, these countries need to be cutting and putting in austerity, but at the same time, it seems like there's a more moderate view of, okay, yeah, let's have some austerity, but at the same time, let's create some growth. And I think that's the way the market is going to take it. And I think ultimately you're going to see a rally Monday or Tuesday start and again, it's not going to be a huge rally by any stretch. I want to make that clear. But you will get some sort of rally early in the week throughout this course of this week that takes us into a holiday weekend next weekend and so forth uh, where it does seem like that more moderate point of view is going to be in there. All right. Um, in addition, continue to hear from, we continue to look towards the Federal Reserve. There will be QE3, guys. There's no doubt in my mind there will be QE3. It's just a matter of when. I don't think it'll come till later on this year, but the way Europe is looking, I think they're going to be the ones. ECB will act first, and then later this year, the, uh, the Federal Reserve will announce some new QE policy. Because the U.S. is still growing. It's growing very slowly. But these problems in Europe are definitely going to push people to kind of be more careful in relation to spending. I mean, all of a sudden, your 401k just dropped 10% in the last two weeks. You're not rushing out to spend tons of money like you were maybe when the market was going straight up before our master cycle date. And again, guys, we just continue to nail every call. And it's not that I'm a genius. It's not that I am you know, have a magic eight ball or a crystal ball telling me the future. I learned a methodology. I taught it. I self-taught it myself and my partner. We created this, and it works. And our members... Not only are they making money, but more importantly, frankly, they're not losing it when everyone else is losing it. And if you can do that, if you can learn here, and we'll teach this. I, I give out swing trades, a swing trade alerts inside the research center. We give you everything, swing trade alerts, and we're going to teach you the proprietary methodology so you can do it on your own. I'm a big believer that you just can't give someone a fish. I want to teach people how to do it because I want to create the most elite group in the world, which is what we have created here. There is no other group out there on any of these online nonsense services out there that can boast members that are as profitable as ours, that do it on their own now, that help each other in our trading forum, Traders Life 24-7. They are the best in the world, better than the J.P. Morgan traders, better than anyone else. They know a methodology. They know this proprietary secrets. They put it to use, and they help each other. And it's a community of awesome traders. And by the way, you get access to that Traders Life if you're a Research Center member or you're an Intraday Stock Chat member. So, I mean, either way, we have tra traders in there, swing traders, day traders, investors, and they're all putting great ideas on the table. And yes, I'm the ringleader here. I'm the one, you know, Nick and I, my partner Nick and I, we lead the group. We teach the group. Anything new we create, we give to the group. But it is literally a great group of profitable traders and investors. And as people join, they start to learn it. And we had, a, for instance, a methodology webinar this weekend, and people came out blown away by what we taught them. All right, And again, guys, this is where it's done in the moneystocks.com. There's no one else out there teaching you proprietary secrets. Yeah, you can go learn about MACD. You can learn about stochastics somewhere else. And someone can say, yeah, I make money all the time using my tech. Nonsense. Go try them out. Please go try them out. I dare you to try them out. 
and then try us out. All right? There's a reason why our members stick with us for life. Why we don't advertise really out there. We let word of mouth carry. We post our videos out there, our free content like you're watching now, right now, out there. And people come to us and they stay with us forever. All right, guys. So that's what we have going on here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Let's take a look at some other charts. I want to show you some other odds and ends. JP Morgan's been getting crushed. Guess what? JP Morgan's going to bounce this week. It's going, You know where it's going to bounce? It's going to bounce right here. This is going to be first target on JPM this week. 35.50. Second target, which is a 50-50 chance it gets here, will be 36.50. Those are your two levels. Basically, a $3 bounce would be second target. $2 bounce would be the easy target. You heard it here first. Watch this week. It's going to happen. Other stocks out there. Apple. Apple hit my target. Generally, right here. See this low pivot right here? From Friday, 522. I gave this out. I told everyone this is where it was going to ultimately tag. This is your target. Apple's now achieved first target. All right. Could it go a little bit lower? Sure, it could. It could go down and kiss the low pivot here. But somewhere in this vicinity, you'll start to see a bid come in on Apple. Apple finally showed some strength on Friday, closing up 26 cents. Now, it's nothing to write home about, right? 26 cents on Apple. Who cares, right? But the fact is, it's a change from the massive selling you've been seeing in Apple. And that's important. So again, I think Apple ends up higher. this At the end of this week, Apple will end up higher than it is currently right now. And again, I still think we're going to get a bounce this week. The proprietary signals are pointing heavily towards a bounce. There's a lot of beaten down stocks out there. What are some other beaten down ones that are going to bounce this week? What are they? Here's one. LVS. LVS is going to bounce. I've done proprietary calculations. In addition, I want you guys to check this out. Check this out. Just because I like to show you guys some of the secrets and some of the key trend lines that you have to know and you have to draw in. Look at that. You're connecting all this these lows. Look at one. Two, all these lows here, and then look, you piss, uh, you kiss right there, right there, and go right there. That's called massive support on an oversold stock. Guess where it's going to bounce? It'll bounce anywhere between the four, uh, fifth, forty-five and forty-six and a half level, which is currently in right now, all the way back above the two hundred. You're going to go all the way back to forty-eight to forty-nine first target, and then I think it's going to bounce above fifty ultimately on the bounce that's coming. All right, what else? What else is another stock I've been eyeing for a bounce? This one right here. Look at the oversold nature of this chart. Ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. And by the way, the trend line on that last chart of the LVS, Las Vegas Sands, that was just one in the arsenal of signals that I have pointing to a bounce in that stock. And I'm talking multi-dollar bounce. And I, why am I giving some a little free tidbits out here? Because you know what? My members already know this because I've already given it to them. Some of them have already bought these positions. And I like to give you guys a little sample of what we do. Track me on the free video. In fact, there's a free trial here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. So, I mean, pff, take the free trial and get it firsthand. That's fine, too. Come to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Take the seven-day free trial to the Research Center if you're a swing trader or day, uh, or day trader as well. But more for swing traders and investors. And the intraday stock chat is more for day traders. But in any case, CLNE, Clean Energy Fuels. This is a nat gas type play. No-brainer bounce, guys. This is going to bounce all the way back to this 200 moving average. And right now it's trading at $12.50. Back to 15 That's a nice gain right there. And you'll see that in the course of a week, guys. It'll bounce back to 15 Awesome stuff. Awesome. What about IBM? Let's just take a look at a couple other stocks. What are we seeing on IBM? IBM chart doesn't look as good to me, although you still have some good support right here. See these little pivot consolidation? That is actually support right there. I wouldn't be surprised to see LV, uh, IBM come down a little bit more. Either way, looks interesting there. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is oversold. Starting to come into some very intriguing levels here. Look at this. Fill the gap. Friday, gap from the beginning of the year, from the consolidation before it blasted up, it's filled. No-brainer. Absolutely no-brainer. It's going to bounce. Even if it goes down, there's another gap fill right here just a little bit lower. Risk-reward is very much in your favor. Anywhere between here, no-brainer. All right, but one more time, folks. Enough is enough. I've given out enough free content. We're going to give you swing trade alerts here. We're going to give you proprietary secrets and analysis tools that you can use and make money on any chart you look at. Forex, 
commodities, stocks, ETFs, it doesn't matter. Any time frame, day trading, swing trading, it works on all time frames. Here at InTheMoneyStocks.com, we will reveal our secrets because it's a tight-knit group, and I'm planning on creating the most elite as I have, but the biggest elite group of best traders in the world to rival every institution out there. That's right, folks. Be a part of it. Be a part of it and become elite. Be top 1% out there, best traders in the world. That's what we are. Have a great afternoon, great weekend. Come join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com and start profiting with the pros. Take care.